Hey guys, me, Mr. Casual, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how Tony Ferguson has been offered to coach against Conor McGregor in The Ultimate Fighter. You know, so he, that's, that's what he said, that's what he claimed. So we're going to be reading an article on MMANews.com, but before we get into it, 95% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys could please subscribe to our channel to help support the channel and help it grow so we can build our community, I would really appreciate it. So let's get into it, right? MMANews.com. Tony Ferguson says he's been offered to coach The Ultimate Fighter with Conor McGregor, right? So I'm going to scroll down to the main part. Okay, it says, Tony Ferguson says he's been offered the ultimate fighter role with Conor McGregor. One day after um, McGregor's revelation, Tony Ferguson released the following tweet. Okay, this is Tony Ferguson's Twitter. I've been asked to coach on the ultimate fighter. All fathead or anyone of my choosing, if that cake eating some bitch wouldn't no Mac, what a vagina, always ready, anytime, anywhere. I choose you, McNacker. Um, the ultimate fighter MMA, the, the notorious MMA. So it was soon the champion. Yeah, I know you know you know Tony Ferguson talks on Twitter. He, he likes to make it hard as fuck to read. But um, this is crazy. Like when I seen this, I was like, holy shit! Honestly, I would I would rather have seen Masvidal versus Connor or maybe Connor and Dustin Poirier. But Tony Ferguson versus Connor, fuck it, I'll take that shit too, bro. But honestly, I don't know why they didn't make Masvidal and Connor. They both need a win. They're both super superstars. Ferguson's also a superstar. Don't get me wrong, but but Masvidal and Connor would have been fucking sick you know and then they could have fought i mean for like a bmf belt if they could make Maswell defend the bmf belt that would be cool too that's off topic that shit is crazy man ferguson and connor i i did not see that coming at all i really thought it was gonna be dustin or Maswell or nate right but everyone thought that was dustin Maswell or nate nobody thought ferguson right Anyways, continue reading. I've been asked to coach the ultimate fighter uh, against all fat and you're one of his choosing. I just read that. Tony Ferguson um, is a former winner of the ultimate fighter, winning the 13th season against Ramsey Nijam at welterweight. Um, although McGregor, that, that was actually a good season. You guys should check that out. Um, it was it was, a, it was really good. You know, Tony Ferguson gets drunk, and I don't want to spoil it, but you guys should go check that out. Season 13 of the ultimate fighter. Although McGregor and Ferguson were both in the UFC's lightweight division together, if the two were... um were booked booked against one another it, it could be at welterweight i remember like when it was like ferguson and connor in their prime i was like yo please let this fight happen let this fight happen before tony ferguson started going into the losing streak remember tony ferguson at one point was like an 11 or 12 fight win streak right and i was and i was always like please make ferguson versus connor happen and i remember back then everyone thought like ferguson could beat habib ferguson was the truth he could beat anybody he was on a crazy win streak you know and now everyone thinks like you know, Tony Ferguson lost a bunch of times. So they're like, oh, he can't beat anybody or whatever. But he's still a legend. He still had that crazy win streak. And it's funny, like, if you take, if you find someone that just started watching MMA and you tell them that at one point people believe Ferguson could beat Habib, people are like, get the fuck out of here. I'm telling you, that's what the, the new, the, the, like, the, the, the new blood that watches UFC, the, 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 like, you know, and so that they, they wouldn't even believe you, you know. Con but prime Connor, prime Ferguson, that would have been definitely a spectacle to watch. But I'll still watch this. It should still be a, a decent fight, you know. So let's continue reading. Ferguson last competed in the Waltzway for the first time since winning the Ultimate Fighter when he took on McGregor rival Nate Diaz in a losing effort in UFC 279. And McGregor um, has also insisted that he would be making his octagon return as a welterweight. Yeah, Nate versus Ferguson was kind of crazy, especially since Nick Diaz predicted how Ferguson was going to lose. Like there's a clip of Nick Diaz basically saying what Ferguson does, like his like weaknesses or whatever. And Nate Diaz finished him exactly how Nick said he should have, you know? It's crazy. It's like some, yeah. Anyways, um, that's what happens when you're like a professional fighter. You could see like these openings and shit that regular people like like me like can't really see all the time, you know. Like like Nick, Nick Diaz, that, that that that's called fight IQ. Their fight IQ is crazy, you know. Like continue reading. McGregor coached opposite Uriah Faber during the first stint as the Ultimate Fighter coach in 2015. Later that year, McGregor won the interim featherweight title um against Chad Mendes before knocking out Jose Aldo in a unification bout. Yeah, that was also a really good season. Faber versus um Connor. A lot of drama, TJ and all that. That shit was crazy. You know, your right favorite is a good dude, though. I like him. A lot of people like everyone's always like your right favorite, but you, you really got to see his, how good his personality was. He's a good dude. Continue reading. McGregor um is in some legal trouble outside the octagon. He's in a heated dispute with his former teammate Arden Lobov in court and was recently accused of assaulting a woman last summer. Yeah, Connor's in some shit with his personal life. That's that's a fact. And him versus Artem, I don't know. I think he already like lost a couple of things, like like arm trying to get him from defamation he lost that and i don't think arm's gonna arm trying to get like 30 million off connor i made videos about that he's not gonna get that Connor offered him a mill he declined it five percent it was 30 mil arm's not gonna get that i think connor's lawyers are just too much he's, he's, connor's too much money and his lawyers are too good too well paid for you know i don't know i'm not a lawyer i don't know the legal process perfectly like that 
but I know Arnhem is probably going to end up losing this. I think he already lost a couple of things. I'm not sure, 100% sure on that, you know, but we'll give you guys an update. I'm probably going to do some more research on this. I, I made like two or three videos on it, but like there's always constant new things being updated about the Arden thing and Connor lawsuit. So, you know, I still got to read more and update. Just like it's, it's an ongoing thing. Just like, for instance, like the James Krause thing is always, it's ongoing, you know? In addition to Tony Ferguson, Michael Chandler has also expressed interest this week in coaching the ultimate fighter um, opposite Connor. However, if Ferguson's claims are true, he is much closer to having his hopes become reality. Honestly, I would love to see Chandler. I, I'm a huge Chandler fan. I don't give a fuck how many fights he loses. Chandler is entertaining as fuck, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree with that. Connor versus fucking Michael Chandler would be fucking fireworks. Chandler loves to strike. Connor loves to strike. Oh my god, I would love to see that. Michael Chandler's every fight Michael Chandler is, is involved, he's always it's always entertaining as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I, I fucking love watching Michael Chandler. Like, you know, and he's always so close to winning, and then something happens, he loses, whatever, but it's just fucking he's so entertaining. Let's continue reading. The next season of the Ultimate Fighter expected to kick off later this year, so there's only a matter of time before the coaches are officially revealed. Who would you watch? This season of Ultimate Fighter, Conor McGregor and Ferguson. Yeah. Honestly, they should make Conor versus Masvidal. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. Conor versus Masvidal, that's the fight. That's the thing to make because Masvidal talks mad shit. Masvidal has his gangster thing. He's trying to, you know, the gangster personality. Conor has this Irish gangster personality, you know? So it's like the, like the clash of the gangsters. Masvidal literally has the BMF belt. You know, Conor's a, B, oh, a bad motherfucker. Everyone that fights in the UFC is like a bad motherfucker. You're literally getting paid to fight in a cage. Like, how can you not be a bad motherfucker if you're getting paid to fight in a cage? Like, the average person who works in an office, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, or does construction or whatever, you know? Like, working in an office or fighting for money in a cage against another opponent, hitting, punching them and kicking them, all that, it's crazy. You're a badass just for doing that. I don't get, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think Conor versus, versus Mazda will be crazy. I'll make this maybe a separate video on that, but Conor versus Ferguson. It's still gonna be amazing because Ferguson talks a lot of shit. John talks a lot of shit. I, I just want to see how much shit they're gonna talk before the fight actually happens. I think that's just gonna be fucking sick, you know. So we'll see what happens. And um, I know Connor. Connor, the thing is right. Connor has so much money now that no matter what anyone says, he has fuck you money, right? So Connor can just always be like, "And you're broke. Shut up, peasant." He's always gonna say that. That's that's like um Connor McGregor's go to. Like you're a little peasant. You're a little broke. Whatever. Blah blah blah. He always says that. And it's like, what are you gonna say? Connor literally sold. His um liquor company for what like 600 mil i don't know how much money he kept of that the mayweather thing the ufc money like he has crazy money right now he has fuck you money and i'm just saying like you know like what what in, in the build-up i feel like that's, he's just gonna be like oh i got more money than you you know but i'm sure ferguson will, will think of something to talk shit about against connor that should be so fucking be, oh, man that's gonna be the ultimate fighter too you know so it's gonna be a lot of shit talk you know so and not only that, I feel like Connor can also motivate a lot of the up-and-coming fighters and the ultimate fighter. You know, it's really about the fighters on the ultimate fighter. Obviously, it's about the coaches too. It's for entertainment, but it's also about the fighters and about giving them opportunity to become famous and make a living to support their family. And I feel like Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson are, are both legends. No matter what you feel about either one of them, they're legends. And they can definitely teach the next generation of, of UFC fighters, like, how it works, you know, help them out, kind of guide them along the path. You know, we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, remember, it's me, Mr. Casual. 95% of you guys are not subscribed. Please subscribe to help support the channel, help the community grow, and help us get bigger and bigger so we can, you know, maybe have like a Discord going or something like that, you know? So, yeah. But yeah, subscribe, guys. All right? Be safe, everybody. Take care.